Hey, what's up? Live Show here. Today we are going to discuss season four of Netflix slash Universal slash Amblin properties. Ugh! My, 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 my mind is racing right now. Uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous season four. Okay, so we last leave off, we last leave off with our intrepid group of Camp Cretaceous sirs, or campers of Camp Cretaceous. Um, we have Yasmina, we have Sammy, we have Brooklyn, we have Kenji, we have Darius, we have Ben. They all leave Isla Nublar, right? Bumpy is left on Nublar. Um, we see her very briefly wandering around Camp Cretaceous, missing Ben, right? Calling out to Ben. Ben's not there, obviously. So our heroes are on the yacht ship of the hunters that were killed by the... Uh, who killed them? The... Um, I have the, the toy over there. It starts with a B. Something with a B. Baryonyx? Is it a Baryonyx? I think it's a Baryonyx. And, um, yeah, it's a Baryonyx. And there's uh, some roar in the in, in a, a hold at the end of season three. So season four starts out, it was a copy. It was a, a Comsignathus um, that was on board. That was stowaway. So they're trying to sail to Costa Rica, right? Because Costa Rica is the nearest main city, main island to the... Uh, Isles of Death, the Five Isle Islands of Death, and so we know of Sorna, we know of Nublar, right? Site B is East Sorna, si Site A is the main park, East Nublar held Jurassic Park, as well as Jurassic World, as well as Camp Cretaceous. So, the Mosasaurus obviously has escaped in the beginning of Fallen Kingdom, right? We know that, and we see, you know, Mosasaurus, you know, swimming with surfers in the in the posters of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And we know that there's the six month time difference between when Jurassic World collapsed because the Indominus Rex broke out to when the uh, team that is hired by Dr. Henry Wu goes to collect the uh, sample of the Indominus Rex bones and then inadvertently lets the Mosasaurus out. And then the T-Rex, you know, fights the helicopter. Okay, we get that in this show. We also get that in that movie. So now it's still, it's still at six months later. It's only been like, it hasn't been a day since the campers left. And I like that there's no other time jump. There's just the time jump between seasons two and three. And then three and four is just the same the same time period. So they are attacked by the Mosasaurus. They wash up on another island. We think it's Sorna, but it's not Sorna. So they go and they're in some desert. And they're like, what's going on? Then there's a saber-toothed tiger, which is a Smilodon. And you're like, why is there a saber-toothed tiger? A saber-toothed tiger is not technically a dinosaur. So the tiger is trying to just destroy everyone and they, you know defeat him um but in the process of all this they then find like this holographic wall and you're like wait a minute is this what's going on is this wandavision right now and then it, we find out that this is an island now run by manticore this is the third island this is this is island number three in our quintet of islands of death and so manticore owns this island they have set up different biomes very similar to cabin in the woods one is a desert biome, one is a jungle biome, one is a swamp biome, and one is a uh, blizzard tundra biome. Four different biomes. Um, this Dr. May is studying, you know, dinosaurs and their language and eating patterns, stuff like that. There's a mom and daughter T-Rex from East La Sorna, all grown up, doing their thing, fighting against each other. They're being altered um, with Manticore's food. Uh, there's a Kentrosaurus who's named Pierce, who's pretty cool. Then we find a baby Brachiosaur. We find two baby Spinoceratops, which is hybrids of a Spinosaurus and a Sinoceratops. Spinoceratops, Angel and Rebel, who are tundra-based. Very interesting. Um, what else? What else? What else? We get some uh, Dilophosaurus battles. That was pretty cool. We get Velociraptors. We get Pteranodons. I think that covers the dinos. We get a Spinosaurus in the desert fighting against the saber-toothed tiger. Mind blown. But in the process of all this, there's this other guy, Cash, who is running his bio-robotic -ro android devices or something. I forget the acronym, but they stand for Brad. They're basically these giant robot dog dinosaur things that, like, control the biomes, right? If a dinosaur needs medical attention, they take him to the medical bay underneath the entire island. Things like that. So Cash is trying to alter the dinos with chips to have them fight against each other to, you know, create more of a thing for the new mantra park that they want to build. So he has to, you know, um, he has to uh, report back to his own bosses. And the bosses want one thing, he wants a different thing, all these different things, right? So it's a matter of undercovering more of mantra's secret plot to be evil 
Um, why are they still causing more harm to dinosaurs than good? Things like that, right? So it's a matter of, do the dinosaurs have rights? Do the, can the kids ever get off the island? Should they stay to help the dinosaurs from Manticore? All of these things. The kids are set into a trap, and it's revealed that the head of Manticore, uh, his name is Daniel, who is um, Cash's boss, is Kenji's father. So, like, bro, like, at the fact that Kenji and Brooklyn are getting together, and, like, actually boyfriend-girlfriend now, like, having Daniel, Kenji's father, be the head of Manticore, and then quick cut screen at the end of... Episode 11, leading to credits, we're like, bro, when's season 5 coming out? Because season 5 is going to come out before Dominion, Jurassic World Dominion, actually comes out in theaters. And then thus concludes the Jurassic-ness, from my understanding. I, my jaw dropped when Daniel appears out off the tablet and Kenji goes, dad, and then cut screen. I'm like, what? <laughs> What's happening right now? I didn't honestly... I didn't honestly predict it. It took me by surprise. And nothing really takes me by surprise, but this took me by surprise. The other thing that I absolutely loved, aside from, you know, the development of these characters, is Darius speaking to his brother for half a second, and then his brother literally getting a backpack and says, you're alive, I'm coming for you. I got. I still get chills, still get chills. The, the Darius um, tricking Cash into many things, Ben dealing with having to leave Bumpy behind, Sammy dealing with the fact that these Sinoceratops only exist because she steal she stole the Sinoceratop this uh the Sinoceratops DNA uh for Manticore because they're blackmailing her her uh family. Um but these Spinoceratops are a thing now only because of Sammy. Um Brooklyn and, and Kenji getting together like I said, but Yaz dealing with PTSD from having these nightmares of being attacked by all these different dinosaurs. The kids are dealing with stress in their own way, and they're realizing that they're a unit, that they all are experiencing the same stress, the same fearing for their lives every single time they're out in the open. How do they deal with this together? How do they eventually get off the island, but how do they help the dinosaurs at the same time? Darius is obviously rubbing off on them. So it, it, it's just, it's. I said this before in previous reviews for previous seasons, the character development of these kids is incredible. And I can't even call them kids. They are grown-ups. They have fought so hard for so, so long um, in regards to all these different things for, for, for trying to save this dinosaur, trying to get off this island here. And, and to have Darius speak to his brother and just say, hello, it just, I got so choked up because it's, that's all they wanted was to go home. But they're figuring out ways to help the poor creatures from being killed aside from going home as well as going home. So it's just, it's such an incredible show, such an incredible franchise. I'm so excited to see what season five brings, which leads us into Jurassic World Dominion and onwards after that, if there is something after that. So Jurassic World's Camp Cretaceous season four spoiler ridden review, which is mainly a conversation. And that's how these reviews go. We converse, we discuss, we have our opinions, we have our feelings, we have our thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, Join in on the conversation. We got this. Mucho mahalo.